In this video tutorial, we're going to show you a really neat trick. Now, the first part of this video is specific to Photoshop Elements 9, but uh, for those of you who are using earlier versions of Photoshop Elements, this uh, will still work for you. So what we have is we have a 30 image collage template that we want to add into our photo creations library. So first things first, let me open up that shortcut for you. Just bring it over here. And so here on my computer, I'm using a Windows Vista machine. So this would be true with Windows Vista uh, and Windows 7. You're going to copy the two files that you downloaded, which is an XML file and the collage file itself. You're going to copy that into C Program Data Adobe Photoshop Elements 9 Photo Creations. Okay, so that's your first step. Now, if you're using uh, Windows uh, XP, it would just be something like C Documents and Settings, blah blah blah. It's very similar path. Okay, there's plenty of information on the forum of uh, the proper paths. But once you find your photo creations library, and this is the same for 7, 8, 9, even earlier versions, uh, you want to go into photo creations into the photo layouts. Okay, now I have all kinds of templates that I've added here, but these are the two files that you're going to be adding. You're going to get an XML file from me and a PSD file from me, and all you're going to do is copy and paste it into your photo layouts directory. All right, that's step one. The thumbnail that you see here, that's going to be auto-generated once we restart Photoshop Elements, which of course I've already done, so it created that, that little thumbnail for me. Now the next thing we're going to do, and here's the trick, okay, it's, it's a multi-step trick, but do it because it's going to make working with photo collages so much nicer. And this is really more specifically to Photoshop Elements 9. Let me back up just a minute before we go any farther. Let's just back up. If you've never used the photo collage utility, it's actually a very neat utility. It's just the way it's implemented is dumb. And and this, I think, is specific to Photoshop Elements 9, but I don't have a copy of Elements 8. Um, and Photoshop Elements 7, I'm, I'm not even sure. But let's talk specifically about Photoshop Elements 9 for a moment, because it is really lame inside Photoshop Elements 9. When we go into the photo collage utility, first of all, we're only given three default print options, which is just ridiculous, um, because nine chances out of ten, we are going to want to do something besides the, one of these three sizes, eight and a half by 11, 10 and a quarter by nine, 12 by 12. So I went ahead and added a few more, but that's besides the point. The other thing that I think is dumb is that when we do choose any one of these three preset options, we only get two themes. Or actually, actually, I excuse me, we get a theme. That's the basic theme. I added the none theme because I didn't want the basic theme. I'd rather I'd rather have nothing. Um, and in fact, we can go in there and tweak it. Like if I choose one of these other sizes, notice that I added the cherish theme to this 20 by 16. But you would not believe the amount of hoops that we have to jump through and the files that we have to modify just to get more themes here. And I guess that's why Adobe doesn't have more themes for us to choose from because there's a lots of themes installed in Photoshop Elements by default, but they only give us one option. And they don't even give us an option just to turn it off. So I had to make up my own option because I didn't like that basic thing. But at any rate, here's where the real kicker is, and this is what we have to modify in order really, in my, in my estimation, for the photo collage utility to even be worth a lick, is that no matter which one of these three sizes we choose, we have one basic theme, that's it, and then the collage that it creates by default is what you see right here every time every time. Now what is so significant about that is that this particular collage only contains eight images. So in in the example of my heart collage which contains 30 images what would happen is if we leave it by the default see here it says auto fill with selected images so what's gonna happen is if we generate this collage it's gonna automatically fill eight openings. Now once it's generated what I call this 
dummy collage. We can actually go in and choose a different collage template altogether. It does give us that option once we get past this point. But if we go in and, in, and pick a different template, let's you know there's lots of templates inside Photoshop Elements that have more than eight openings. So if we choose a different template that says has like 19 openings, let's say for example, okay. And yes, it will replace this dummy eight collage template, no problem, but it's only going to place automatically eight of our 19 images. All the other 11 images, one by one from the, from the, from the project bin. And to me, that's just dumb because who wants to do that? So what we did is we went into Photoshop Elements. We created our own dummy template that had 40 images all right that is the most number of images of any of my templates that I currently use so I just created a dummy template it's got 40 openings and then I had to go into the basic theme and modify that to say hey open up this 40 image dummy template rather than this 8 opening template open up the 40 opening template and so what's here's what's going to happen if in, in our in our example with our heart collage we only have 30 openings so if we go in in our project bin here we have 35 images so what's going to happen is when we create our dummy template it's going to populate 35 of the 40 openings it's going to leave five openings unpopulated and then when I choose my collage template It'll just kind of replace my dummy template with my heart collage, and 30 of the 35 images will then be merged into my heart collage. So you see that it's kind of a Mickey Mouse thing way about it, but if you, if you try it before you make the hack, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And it's just, to me, it's just quite ridiculous the way it's set up. In earlier versions of Photoshop Elements, we had a menu where we could pick from a limited number of sizes. We had a separate menu where we could choose from any one of a dozen themes. And then we had a third menu where we could actually pick the layout we wanted to build and have the autofill option. But now in this version, it gives us this what I call this dummy collage of eight openings. And so if we have a collage template with more than eight openings, we have to populate each opening one by one. Now, like I said, in the example of my heart collage, who wants to do that? Populate 30 openings one by one? That just takes a long time. So here's what I did. Let's go back into our photo creations library here, photo layouts. So what I did was I just typed in 19. Now initially, when I when I look at my search, it doesn't show anything. So I went into advanced search and choose include non-index. And so what I did was I took this one by one 19, copy it over here into Photoshop Elements. Okay, this is um, one of the standard templates that come with Photoshop Elements. Let's go back over here to the Edit tab. So then all I did was I just dragged, just made a selection of all of them, and choose Duplicate Layers. Okay, so now we have a duplicate of all those layers, just one smack right, right on top of one another. Perfect. And then all I did was hit File, Save As, and I just changed the number right here from 19 I changed it to 40 when, when actually there isn't actually 40 images, but I just changed it to 40, okay? So uh, it would actually be, what, uh, 38 images, okay? So that's all I did. Uh, and, was, and then the next step is to make that be your default dummy collage. So every single time you go to a, create a collage initially, you're going to get a 40, 40 opening collage. And so to do that, we have to go into our themes they're located right alongside go back to the photo creations tab right alongside uh, our photo layouts but in a separate folder called themes and when we go into themes we want to go into our basic theme here and open up the metadata file for that and you see excuse me not the metadata file we want to open up the THM file which is basically nothing more than a text file so we open up that in text editor and you can see this is the default for when you're dealing with a one by one basic it says to open up the one by one eight collage bleed that's what I was talking about that dummy eight collage template so what I did is you just change it one by one 40 
uh, photos. Okay, and then we'll hit save. And that's all you have to do. Now then restart Photoshop Elements. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's close this out. Because I think, I think we are going to have to close that out. And then let's restart Photoshop Elements for that effect to take place. Might, we might not have, have to uh, reset it just by modifying the theme, but we'll go ahead and restart Photoshop Elements. Sometimes my computer's a little slow. So now Photoshop Elements is restarted. So now we're going to come in here and we're going to choose to show file selected in organizer, which I have plenty of files selected in my organizer. Come over to the Create tab. And then this is where we're going to go to Photo Collage. Okay. And we're going to choose the 12 by 12 size, which in, in Photoshop Elements is defined as a one by one layout. So we have this basic. Notice it says autofill with selected images. I have the basic theme selected and I hit OK. And it's going to go to town and it's going to build. Remember, it's going to build that 40 collage template or what I call 40 collage, but it's actually only 38. So it's building the page and now it's going to place all of my images. Now I'm going to pause the video until it gets done placing the images because that'll probably bore you to death. But basically you can see it's placing 31 images because apparently that's how many I had selected there um, in my organizer. So it's going to place all of those and as soon as it do does that I'll come back. Okay, so now it's created that collage template. Remember, we have image openings on top of image openings. That's why we don't really see all 31 images. Um, but remember, if you do this with, with your native Photoshop elements, what you're going to get is you're going to get that lousy, dummy 8 collage template. So if you want to now populate my heart collage template, quote unquote, automatically, you're only going to be able to copy over 8 openings. The other 22 openings, you're going to have to populate yourself one by one from the project bin. But because you went and modified your dummy 8 collage, 8 photo template to a 40 photo template, now we can use any template in the library because no template in my library has more than 40 images. So once you create this dummy collage, come in over to the layouts tab and there is our heart collage. And it's just a matter of dragging and dropping and that's it. And literally within a matter of seconds, that collage template is going to be built and all those images, boom, magically right back into our heart collage template. And then once, once they're in there, of course, we can fine tune them, uh, position them, rotate them, put one layer on top of another layer, whatever the case might be, um, you know, modify the image opening within, but you can see, boom, it's done. And, and it just took a really, really just took a few minutes. Um, and so any change that we want to do here, I can just zoom in and I can change the scaling of an image. See, to, to fit this frame a little bit better. Just that easily. So that's the advantage of making that change um, in that dummy template. And now you can create a really neat looking collage very, very quickly and easily that contains lots and lots of images. So I hope you have fun experimenting. Uh, experimenting with that collage, that heart collage, um, and there will be more to come, but I just wanted to share that little tip with you um, to make working with these other templates where you have lots and lots of image openings uh, a lot nicer. Thanks for watching.